guys, my name is Aliaster, and welcome to the demo of Valkyrie Chronicles 4 on PlayStation 4. So guys, I just cannot say how happy I am that finally Valkyrie Chronicles is getting a proper sequel. I mean, I played the first game, the original Valkyrie Chronicles, and the not so liked uh, sequel on the PSP. Uh, the third one, we didn't have access because uh, it was only in the in the Japan. And Valkyria Revolution, let's just leave that at, uh, you know, with no comment, okay? That, that was pretty bad. So, now we get a full-fledged sequel coming out in about a month's uh, way. Some, sometime sometime uh, dur during uh, September. So, we're really close. And today, on August the 7th, we, we, get, uh, we get access to the demo. Uh, available on PlayStation 4 and Switch, if you're rocking it. Uh, I checked it on Switch as well, looks good so far, but I'm, I think I'm gonna go with the PlayStation version. But guys, without further ado, let's let's see how it goes. I'm really hyped for this one, so... Okay, save data from the demo can be imported into the full version, great. Uh, import demo save data to obtain a bonus accessory. Alright, good, I'll take it. The day our hometown burned, that was the day we enlisted. Hmm. At last, we had something to believe in, something worth fighting for. None of us yet knew, we couldn't foresee what this war would cost us. It was a battlefield, but it was where we grew up. Okay, so that's a perfect intro. And man, I love this. This this is like this is how it, it opened in original Valkyrie Chronicles with the with this uh, drawing like sort with this drawing coming into life, like gaining color, and then showing showing up the background at least in the um, at the starting screen. So man, this looks really good. But okay, since it's the introduction intro. Let's just enjoy it. Wind out of the northeast, clear skies. Nap time's over. Come on, Raz. I wasn't napping, just resting my eyes. You gotta relax, man. You are way too freaking tense. Your hands are shaking. <laughs> so sack up, Commander. It's about time we get ready to roll out. Let's show those imps what's coming to them. Yeah. <clears throat> A shift in the wind. There. Huh? You getting those wind whispers again? Imperials incoming! All right, boys, it's go time! Squad E, do you read me? Squad E! This is Commander Claude Wallace. Squad E! The Imperial forces are on the move, heading for your position! Ready to engage. Do not let them break through to the front line. We're counting on you. Roger that. Over. Good luck, Squaddy. They won't advance until they're done shelling the area. We should have time to prepare. Kai, take a group to that southern hill and slow down their left flank. Raz, take two soldiers east and make some noise for me. You got that? Gotcha. Keep up or get left behind. At your command. Hoffin, roll out. Squaddy, ready to engage. All right. Remember your training. We can do this. Oh man, this intro is so good! Ah, oh, it sets the mood so right. I mean, it was amazing when they all jumped out of the... Jumped out of the grass. All Imperial hostiles. Let's stop their advance. Squad E, move out! Hell yeah! Let's do this. All set, Raz? Okay, so basically, Valkyrie Chronicles uh, 
is what you might call it an active uh, real-time strategy of some sorts because we will be looking at the map uh, to, to get um, some uh, the knowledge of our surroundings more or less where we were where we will pick our units and afterwards uh, once we pick our unit we will move it in real time so everything will take uh, take time in a, in a real ah man <laughs> you know what I mean well you'll see you'll see Just okay let's see yeah he's good I like okay. him First, we'll see how they respond to some infantry. All right, Squad so we're gonna go with. Move out. So we were probably gonna move out first, uh, Raz. Okay, let's see now. Okay, looks like everyone's in position. Yeah, Finally. good. It's time. I'm their commander. It's up to me to get everyone out alive. Yeah, I like his attitude. It's already good. Concentrate. Remember your training. We can do this. I can do this. Okay, tutorial, command mode. Uh, when combat starts, you'll see a map of the area and your unit's positions. Uh, this is referred to as command mode. Okay, so uh, what I was trying to relay. Uh, here you'll, uh, you'll select the unit you'd like to move based on the terrain and the respective position to the enemy. Uh, move the cursor on to Raz using the directional pad and press uh, X to switch to action mode. Okay, so we're gonna select Raz. Okay, those, those two guys, they're basically dead once we once we take Raz. Okay. I got this. All right, let's see now. Okay, action mode. Selecting a unit switches them to action mode where they can move and attack. Move a unit in, in action mode with directional uh, pad or the left analog stick. Okay, the AP gauge at the bottom of the screen will slowly deplete while a unit is in motion. Once the soldier runs out of AP, they will be left uh, unable to move. So yeah, we're, we're going for those uh, sandbags. Order Raz to move towards the sandbags. Okay. Well, I would have loved it to, to be 60 FPS, but at the same time the graphics uh, were also improved, so... Okay, tutorial attacking. Now that uh, now that they have moved into position, it's time to attack. Mm, okay, press R1 while in action mode to enter target mode. Move the crossers with uh, with the left analog stick. Press L1 R1 to quickly snap between targets. Press X to attack. If the enemy survives, they might counterattack. So try to make every shot count. Okay, so. Uh, no, no dice, no dice. He's dead. Alright. So, ending actions. Uh, troops can only attack once per turn, uh, per action. Once the unit is done moving and attacking, end the action to return to command mode. Uh, press uh, the touchpad to end the unit's action. Okay. Uh, touchpad can unit end a unit's action even if that unit has leftover AP or has not yet attacked. Pressing the circle button can also end your action, in which case you know, a confirmation prompt will appear. Use whichever method you prefer. Uh, I think uh, with, the, with the circle is actually better. So yeah, we're gonna end the current action. Yeah, but man, this, this I like it so much already, it drops you straight into the action. Okay. Damn, okay. Yeah, you... Why not? You're invincible, right? <laughs> yeah, nice. Are you really getting tripped up over some common foot soldiers? Why don't you ever stop and think? Yeah, thinking is not for everyone. Oh, shut up! Just hurry and take them out, will ya? <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. This won't take long. Also, this is the first time. Okay, Kai has deployed. This is the first time in the series, as far as I'm aware, when we actually get a story important sniper character. And never before had we had access to a sniper that was important to the story, as in a main character or a character that's on the box. So, I think we're gonna go for this guy in there, uh, if we manage to. Okay, so also the deal with snipers is a tad bit different. 
yeah, but the snapping of the cursor could work a bit better. Better. So, yeah, we're gonna come take command of Kai. Now, yeah, this is important. Snipers work differently. Uh, the sniper class specializes in shooting down enemies from afar. So, zoom in and, uh, and out during target mode by moving the right analog stick up and down. Use the scope to line up uh, headshots. So, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go here. And we're gonna try to nail that guy. Okay, but is it? Uh, it might be. It might be a bit too much. We could. Yeah, this might be a bit better. Yeah, we have a higher chance of killing him. Fight. Yeah, boom. Nice. Too easy. They're good. Okay, so let's end the turn. They, they have no way of uh, getting. Getting us into the range. I mean, those are scouts. Those they have great mobility, but not so not so good in terms of, of uh, attack power. Okay, so uh, we can do what we want. You know what? Let's go. Let's go with Kai one more time because we can select the same troop again, and we're gonna go for the broke. So Kai, do your magic. Boom! Nice, nice. Didn't take much. They might be soldiers after all. Yeah, I love her already. Okay, tutorial. CP and ending phases. Uh, selecting a unit in command mode uses up one command point. The CP. A CP reflects the number of times you can control a unit per player phase. When your CP reaches zero, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. So press touchpad or circle button to end the player phase with leftover command points. Be mindful of your positioning before the enemy phase begins. So sometimes it's actually wise to save up the command points for when you, when you really want to go all out on your next turn. Okay, so we got an enemy moving. Yeah, we can see him. Uh, no way in hell is he gonna reach us. Okay, so the, uh, now it's our phase again. Okay. Yeah, I know. Soldiers, forward. Now's our chance to take the offensive. Yeah, we'll go. Let's do it. Okay, backup has arrived. Uh, okay, command points and consecutive actions. Uh, command points are replenished at the start of each player phase. Uh, command points can be used uh, on the same unit multiple times in a row. Yeah, we already did that. <clears throat> this is useful for cutting into enemy lines, hurrying past dangerous terrain, or finishing off a tenacious enemy. That said, they'll tire out and start each consecutive action with less action points, or AP, than the last. A CP that goes unused during one phase will, however, roll over to the next. How you choose to manage uh, command points will determine the fate of your squad. Alright. <clears throat> Okay, so we're in a bit of a better spot now. Okay, Nico. Hmm. Curtis. He looks cool. Zyga. Okay, I think we'll move... We'll move Zyga. Because he's the closest one. We'll try to move him to the towards the first row of sandboxes. Uh, sandbags. Okay, sandbags. A tutorial. Sandbags on the field uh, provide cover. Move behind the sandbag and press X to cr when a crouch appears to take cover. Crouching makes the unit harder to hit and negates extra headshot damage. Yeah, that's that's really good. Take cover behind sandbags as you move. Okay, uh, can we? Yeah, we. Yeah, I think we have more than enough. Uh, okay, we're gonna crouch. Can we get him? No. Uh, okay, aiming and weak points. Critical hits such as headshots deal greater damage than normal. Uh, use left stick to quickly aim, then use the directional pad to line up the, uh, line up a headshot. Shots fired will generally land within the circle marked in your line of sight. Okay, increase your chance of landing a hit by lining up your shot so that the target is well within the circle. To kill shows how many shots must connect to eliminate the target. Uh, this number indicates whether your shots will reach the enemy or if you're aiming at a weak point. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, nah. This is... Well, yeah, we might shoot just for the sake of it. Yeah, this is... This is actually a short-ranged weapon. Which we were using. Tell you what, uh, we're gonna move one of the scouts. Understand. Yeah, Curtis, go. So as you can see, scouts have a lot of AP. They they can cover a lot of ground, and that's what they will be mainly used for. Okay. Uh, yeah. See, this is also important. Once uh, we are spotted, and within within the range of the enemy, uh, they will shoot at us. Uh, why whilst we move okay so we're gonna crouch now now we can take the aim and hope for the best yeah good eye good shots good shots okay what's next well shit Busting out the tanks, huh? This one's all yours, Claude. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take him. It's our turn now. Fire up the engine, Miles. Yes, sir. Okay, the Hoffman's moving out. Destroy the enemy tank. I love it that the tank says it will be done. I mean, amazing, amazing. So yeah, let's rock our tank, the Hafen. Okay, tanks. Tanks boast firepower and endurance far beyond that of foot soldiers. They can withstand gunfire from enemy infantry, making them a solid wall for your soldiers to use as cover. Tanks can destroy objects with a red axe on the command mode map, either by firing a cannon or driving into them. Okay, so this is important. Tanks cannot fit into narrow passages, so advance with infantry in such cases. So yeah, also important stuff, uh, come on, man, what? Wow, this is new, uh, usually uh, you would need two command points to, to move a tank, well, that's new. This is huge if this goes throughout the whole game, okay, but, but, I don't like the fact that it's really hard to, to pinpoint uh, the unit you want to, you want to select, but at the same time, ba 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 ba. Yeah, we can we can go sort of like this. So, Advancing. happen, roll out. Yeah, this is also what you need to keep in mind uh, because you can destroy the sandbags, but at the same time, uh, you know, as much as it's fun, you remove cover for your for your uh, squad mates. Okay, uh, tank warfare. Tanks have three methods of attack: armor piercing, AP shells. A mortar rounds and mounted machine gun. Armor piercing shells are effective against tanks and other vehicles. That's what we're gonna use. Explosive mortars hit a broad area with a ragnite blast ideal against infantry. Yeah, also good. Mortars have travel mortars travel in an arc. Aim for the center of multiple posts to maximize fire firepower and preserve limited ammo. The machine gun is designed to strike foes who are too close for the mortar and to intercept incoming enemies. Press X to, uh, sorry, press square to switch a tank's weapons. Okay, so we're going, yeah, we're gonna go with the AP round. We're not gonna change it. Okay, so fire it up. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna end. And we're gonna reselect the, ha the Hafen. Okay, tank's weak points, yeah. Pay attention. Uh, the glowing or blue radio you played at a tank's rear is its weak point, where even a stand, where even standard bullets can deal damage. Uh, try to get behind enemy tanks for a chance to take them down, while being careful not to expose your own rear to hostile fire. So yeah, uh, we could have actually take Raz, no Zyga, to move know. behind the tank, and he would also have a high chance to actually get rid of the tank. Uh, and to deal some major damage, but I don't know uh, whether we would have enough uh, AP to to do that. 
So the smarter thing was actually to just uh, fire off two, two tank shells. Okay, this is bad. I hope. Yeah, as you can see, no dice. We're not gonna be able to... Okay, where is he shooting? Okay, a tank. Uh, standard ammo rounds uh, don't do nothing against against the armor plating. Okay, so uh, let's finish him. Yeah. So bye bye. All right, light tank dead. Okay, operation complete. Perfect. Fantastic. Our first uh, first fray, and nobody died. <laughs> Else want to try? Squatty, don't take shit from nobody. Okay, so we can swear. <laughs> Good. Claude knows what I'm. Whoa, you okay? The flowers. Ah oh, man. Uh. Oh yeah, they didn't stand a chance. Come on, man. You're supposed to be commander of the Ranger Corps. A commander still has a heart, same as a foot soldier. Rank doesn't make this any less painful to see. Well, okay, uh, so that's that's oh, his like shtick. Crying over flowers, even little girls have bigger <laughs> balls these days. <laughs> okay, Raz, Raz is the man. He's gonna be in our squad like permanently. But what matters is that their hearts. All right, I get it. Power of the heart, blah blah blah. Look, just go turn in your report already, will ya? Can't go get sloshed if we're stuck here on standby. <laughs> Good point. Okay. I'll yeah. head to the command center. Hey, you do that. And tell the brass to send us tougher imps to fight next time, yeah? Ah, don't get cocky, man. But I gotta say, uh, the English voice acting so far, I I think is really great. I played the original Valkyria Chronicles um, in in Japanese so, uh, because I thought you know this is the way to go but during the demo we don't have actually at least on this uh, we don't actually get uh, to to change <clears throat> the the in-game voice so uh, we're going to English and I have to say that it's really good in my opinion I'm really liking it so far and I think Operation I'm Northern gonna Cross. go with the English voice acting in the full game as well because I will be getting this uh, trust me on that one Okay, a new episode has been added. Uh, okay, book mode. Uh, Discover down told the history of the Second European War by viewing this chronicle. Select a new episode to continue. Okay, tutorial saving. Yeah, very, very important. Open the menu by pressing uh, triangle. Save to record your progress. Anything can happen out there. Remember to save before, during and after any combat operations. Yeah. <laughs> Keep that in mind if you ever wanna wanna succeed in Valkyria Chronicles. <clears throat> so we're gonna do that. We're gonna save. And yeah, you know what? Let's see subtitles. Oh no, we actually can choose uh, whether we want the English or or Japanese version. Sorry, sorry for that. I. I launched the game at first on, uh, on Switch, so in there I didn't have the option to actually change the uh, change the voice acting. So I don't know, maybe I missed the option. But if you if you want to, you can start the game in Japanese. I, I will also recheck the Japanese version, but so far so good. I mean, the English voice acting is really stellar so far. Sir, first Lieutenant Claude Wallace reporting in. <clears throat> at ease. Good work out there. Glad you're still in one piece. We're just about to go over our next operation. You're late. I'm sure you know standard procedure is to report immediately after a mission. Okay. <laughs> Minerva. Yeah. Oh, Minerva. She, she looks tough. You're reporting too? That's lieutenant to you, Claude. Don't get smart with me just because we share rank. I've got seniority. All right, all right. <clears throat> Sorry, Lieutenant Minerva Victor. <laughs> well, well, she's got to stick up, uh, you know what? <clears throat> situation report. Yes, sir. Three months have passed since we went to war. I won't sugarcoat it. 
they're steamrolling us. I think this is the voice actress that actually does Lucina in Fire Emblem Awakening. By this point, a third of our territory is under Imperial control. This is officially a crisis. All right. If it's that bad already, we won't even be able to sustain a war effort. You're right. And the Empire's only gaining momentum. If this draws out much longer... The Federation's finished. If we fall, that's it for Europa. Nobody else could stand against them. The Empire would take total control. It'd be a fascist continent ruled with an iron fist. Okay, no pressure. We can't let that happen. Europa's future depends on us. All right. Now I'm pumped. Which brings us to now. The top brass finally got off their seats and sent us a plan. A counterattack that can turn the war around in one fell swoop, ready to be put into action. What are the orders? Yeah, but these these things never work that way. <clears throat> Pull our force into one strike, break through their defenses, and hit them where they'll hurt most. Hmm. So ambitious. Supplies. We'll use all reserves we have to make a final push and capture one crucial enemy base. And we lucky few of the 32nd Armored Ranger Battalion have been handpicked as the vanguard. Hmm. Couldn't ask for a better mission, sir. Which enemy base are we targeting? Think bigger. We take this base, and we take their will to fight. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But <clears throat> how could any one target mean that much to... Wait, you don't mean... You always were a clever boy, Claude. I think you've got it. All right, so our target is the imperial capital of Schwarzgrad. Let's fight back. Operation Northern Cross. Well, that's quite. The year was 1935 EC. Two great powers vied to control the continent of Europa. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance. A dictatorship known as the Empire. In the West, a network of loosely allied democracies banded together to form the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their prosperity. Its growing scarcity leading inevitably to war. With its overwhelming military might, the Empire captured one nation after another. While the Federation struggled to maintain unity, every battle driving them further back against the wall. Three months have passed. With seven-tenths of Europa falling to the Imperial War Machine, the Federation places all its hope in a desperate counterattack. Operation Northern Cross. Six million soldiers fought in this campaign. It claimed more lives than any other in the Second European War. Federation historians call it the Eastern Theater. But the Empire knows it as the War for the Motherland. Forward, soldiers! This is the battle you've been training for! Operation Northern Cross begins now! We'll wipe those Imperials clear off the face of Europa! Our time has come! Forward, to victory! Countless soldiers fought and died on those fields, struggling to make their ideals a reality. Ordinary people, thrust into extraordinary circumstances, fighting in the hopes that they would see a brighter future. What follows here is a record of those brave warriors, a record of that battle against the dark. Based on the diary of one Claude Wallace, the commander of the Federation's Gallian Squad E. I love it. <clears throat> I love it already. <laughs> it's so it's so good. Sets up the mood so so good. All right, so Operation Orphan Crawl. The battle of. Okay, a new episode has been added. Uh... Good news, Claude. HQ has awarded you with a medal. Woohoo! Okay, for what? Okay, Meritorious Service Medal awarded. 
Uh, received an accessory as a reward. Caped bullets. Uh, Alright, accessories. Equipping an accessory to a soldier can boost certain stats. Your accessories can be equipped from the uniform section of the equipment menu. Try a few of them on for size. Yeah, I will do that. Now that you can only equip up to two, up to the number of accessories... I'm sorry, now that you can only equip up to the number of accessories you own. Up to what? Okay, so let's see... Where can we actually... Yeah, I want to try that. Hmm. Where do I get to? Okay, select chapter. No, I don't want to. I would like to select something else. Okay, we cannot. Yeah. Uh, we, we're locked out. But, uh, let's save our game. Yeah, prologue. We're gonna create a new save. In case something screws up. Yeah, and let's view this episode. March the 10th. At long last, we have finally entered Imperial territory. The ferocity of the Federation counterattack caught the Empire off guard. Battle by battle, town by town, we're pushing back the front, with no signs of slowing down. The road to Schwarzgrad is a long one, running at least 1,500 kilometers from friendly territory into the heart of the Empire. Okay, but at so... the end of it lies our target, the capital city. We have a long trek ahead of us, but for now, morale is high. Everyone here believes in this operation. Everyone is praying it'll succeed. <laughs> I guess the Empire's not so tough after all, huh, Commander? Give them one good stomping, and all of a sudden they're running off home. Huh? So are you gonna take yeah. a picture of everything we pass? Here, let me have a look at it. Uh, hey, Raz, come on! <laughs> Stop it, really! You're wasting my film! Wasting? No chance. What you got here is a picture of a future hero. <gasps> you take one too, eh, Kai? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh -huh. There you go. That's a keeper. Uh, damn it, Miles! The hell was that? For freaking her, Quiet. man! I told him to stop the tank. Huh? Everything okay? The wind shifted. Whoa. Okay, so we're in for it. Okay, a new episode has been added. Let's see, view this episode. They brought out the big guns. A blast that big could wipe out a whole squad. Easy. Okay, that's not good. Let's keep moving. Ballsy. A rendezvous point with Squad F should be nearby. <gasps> Flash. Thunder. That's the password. Next time, give us the response before you scare us shitless. Apologies. I didn't mean to frighten you. Follow me. Lieutenant Victor is waiting. Great. Who? She has a monocle. Oh, you mean Minerva. And you are... Corporal Crystal Ward, from Squad F. Indeed. I have the honor of answering to Minerva Victor, the strongest and smartest officer in the army. <laughs> and somewhat annoying, but, you know, a matter of taste. Uh... <laughs> <clears throat> I assume you saw that explosion. Yeah, your, your assumption is correct. Oh, we saw it, all right. They must be packing serious heat. A 21 centimeter howitzer. Currently, our worst nightmare. It must have a range of at least 10 kilometers. We can't advance with that thing around. 
Just so. Our mission is to capture that cannon. Okay. Commander! Good work leading Squad E so far, Claude. Your slow pace, however, does leave something to be desired. Yeah, well, it's better to be slow and alive rather than dead. We saw cannon fire, so we've been proceeding with caution. Keep your excuses. As I said before, the success of Operation Northern Cross hinges on our swift advance. Time is of the essence. Yeah, but if we die, the whole operation goes down the crapper. I know. You try hustling with a huge cannon up your ass. Oh, wait. You already tried and failed. Yeah, thank you. Down, boy. Claude, have you not housebroken your squad? What the hell did you say? I'd appreciate it if you didn't insult my soldiers. They're people, not pets. Then I expect them to act like it. I'm not the one wagging my tongue. Soldiers who step out of line are often the first to die. Remember that, Sergeant Raz. Yeah, yeah. Hope you make it out alive too, Lieutenant. <laughs> um, Commander? Uh, there's a good view from the clearing. Maybe we could brief them there. Claude, come with me. Okay, guys, I think we'll stop here. This is a this is a good spot, I think. <clears throat> so, we will be going through the demo. I don't know how long it lasts, actually. But suffice to say, we will have at least uh, one more mission ahead of us. So, so far, I'm loving what I'm seeing. I mean, it was... I was a bit skeptical, you know, after Vol Valkyria Revolution, oh man, that was so bad, but, but this, so far, it delivers, it delivers so hard, I, I cannot express how, how much I already like it, the Squatty, Squatty is already done, I mean, the characters, already, their chemistry be between them, I, I like them, I love them, and... Minevra, Claude, this is gonna be a great adventure, I can already feel it, so guys, Thank you very much for joining me. If you like the video, uh, please click the like button. Uh, maybe subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content. And I will be seeing you next time, okay? So, take care and bye-bye.